There are two issues. Uh, one is rehospitalizations, and the other is hospitalizations of already long stay residents. Some of the same mechanisms are at play, um, but at different levels. Uh, so in the post-acute world, there are providers um, who are uh, admitting patients, long-term care nursing home providers who are admitting patients who um, just five, ten years ago would have stayed an extra two days in a cardiac intensive care unit. And they're actually going to a uh, long-term care facility for intensive cardiac rehab and medical care at the same time. Um, those people are at great risk of rehospitalization. It means the transfer between the hospital and the nursing home has to go extremely smoothly to the extent that the nursing home provider is not um, equipped to manage that, to the extent that there is not adequate uh, information transfer from the hospital to the nursing home, and a clinical bridge between the discharging doctors and the accepting doctors as part of that process, that's all key. And it's not just for cardiac, but it's for other conditions as well. On the long stay side, uh, um, there is increasing evidence that um, good um, processes of monitoring patients' conditions um, makes it possible to identify patients um, who are beginning to go south but aren't quite there, there yet, such that an intervention can occur quickly. Um, that makes a huge difference in terms of reducing uh, hospitalization rates. Joe Auslander and uh, work that he's been doing uh, in facilities across the country uh, using the Interact and other kinds of SBAR and all these other kinds of procedures both empower the aides as well as instruct the nurses as to how to communicate to physicians. Um, and that can actually reduce the uh, rate or the likelihood of hospitalization. There are some key policy issues there that also apply for the uh, rehospitalization, and that is the who's liable, who's accountable for a rehospitalization or a hospitalization when it occurs. It's often a lot easier for the physician to say, go to the local emergency department and go to the be admitted to the hospital, uh, even if the nursing home is able to actually manage that pneumonia in early stage or otherwise because of an issue of both liability or accountability and a sense of safety that the hospital will manage it. Um, being not terribly, uh, um, what's the right word, uh, hospital focused in my, in my orientation, it's not clear that hospitals can do any better with these patients who are very frail, in fact may well do worse uh, in managing the patient's care once in an ED and then clearly in a hospital bed. Thank you.